Rock Church family, let's get it. We are embarking upon what I believe will arguably be one of the most profound, prolific series in the history of the Rock Church. God gave me this one a few weeks back, and I just believe it's going to transform our lives. It's entitled, Allow Me to Reintroduce Myself. Genesis chapter 25, verse 26, the A clause. Then the other twin was born with his hand grasping Esau's heel. So they named him Jacob. I want to speak to you this morning from the subject, lose the labels. I'm blessed today. I have my favorite person in the world, in this room, in the person of my dad. Nobody like him. Nobody like him. Like, no athlete, no celebrity will ever be able to compare to my father. If I become half of the man that he is, I will say, I lived a blessed life. Like, I don't think you get it. My dad is next level. The chairs you're sitting in right now, literally 4 o'clock in the morning, Dad, I think I'm going to need some chairs for church tomorrow. Say less. Like, my dad has me. He's had me uh, from birth unto now. There is not enough adjectives that I can think of to describe how awesome my dad is. Uh, one adjective that perhaps we also could use to describe my father is he is f frugal. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, like, I noticed I didn't say G. I did not say G. Did, I wanted to, but I didn't. I didn't say cheap. He, he's, he's, he's frugal. Like, there can, there can be an elegant affair where we're dressed after five, tuxedos, bow ties. And my dad will literally pull up to the valet in his tuxedo, and he'll take a look at the price, and he'll be like, I'm going to drop y'all off. <laughs> like, Dad, no, we getting out. Nah. <laughs> y'all go in. I'll catch up. I think I saw some street parking like three blocks away that's for free. Like, okay, like, like again, I'm not saying he's cheap. I ain't saying he's cheap. He's frugal. He's frugal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like my dad has mastered the art of going to restaurants and eloquently asking if it comes with free refills. Uh, uh, hi, uh, hi, uh, excuse me, miss. I, I, I was just curious, are your drinks uh, bottomless? <laughs> And like, he knows this drives me crazy. I'm like, bruh, like stop doing that. Like when you, like don't do that, dad, stop, stop. Like when you go out with me, just like, let me get you. I got you now. Like, 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 no, 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 no. Because in my dad's mind, he's thinking like, why would I pay $5 for a glass here? when Safeway got cases two for five if you got the right coupon. Like, like again, he, 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 I'm not saying he's cheap. I'm not saying he's cheap. I'm just saying he's, 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 he's frugal. He's frugal. Like, like, literally in a few weeks, we're going to celebrate Father's Day. And like we play out the same scenario year after year. It's like, Dad, like, what, what are we doing, man? What are we doing? Like, you name it, we got you. Like, you trying to get maestros, you trying to go to the city, you trying to get some garlic noodles, you name it, we got you. You trying to go to the Brazilian steakhouse, you tell me what you want, player, we got you. My dad's like, well, you know what? This year, let's do it big. Let's get some KFC. I'm like, oh, no, man. Again, I'm not saying. He's cheap. I didn't say he's cheap. He's, he's frugal. He's, he's, he's very frugal. Like, I, he's cheap. Let's just keep it 100. He's cheap. He's cheap. I, I've been trying to, like, keep it clear. He's cheap. He's cheap. Dad, do you agree or disagree? I have no comment. He's, exactly. That's the thing. He doesn't want to incriminate himself. He's cheap. Uh, but, but the truth is, when I look back in retrospect, I have labeled my dad throughout our entire life, I've labeled him as frugal or cheap. And while that label may be accurate, it also might be incomplete. 
yeah, what I thought was cheap might have actually been calculated. <laughs> what I thought was frugal might have actually been my dad recognizing he had foresight for his future. Yeah, my dad intentionally has me in a position where I got two degrees and no student loans. Uh, <laughs> intentionally, he's retired with my mom and they have no house payment. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta lose the labels because labels attach themselves to the surface and don't always address the substance of what's inside. I don't know who I'm talking to, but there's somebody who's listening by the sound of my voice and you've been mislabeled or you've been labeled prematurely and I decree and declare that it's time to lose the label. Will you help me preach this morning? Will you type in the chat, let go of the label, let go of the label, yeah, yeah, yeah. What if you've been mislabeled? What if you've mislabeled yourself? What if what's inside of you doesn't match the label that's on the outside of you? I decree it's time to lose the labels. There's another level of you that you don't even know about yet. Now unto him, yeah, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think according to the power that works in us. God says, I'm about to blow your mind. God's about to introduce your past to your future. Did you hear what I just said? God's about to introduce your past to your future. Change your mindset to match where you're going. Upgrade your faith to match your future. I got to lose my labels. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is, I need you to type in the chat, what's your new name? Yeah, tell your neighbor what your name is. My name is consistency. My name is abundance. My name is peace. My name is stability. My name is generational curse breaker. My name is legacy maker. My name is earth shaker. My name is world change. You have to lose the labels. Oftentimes, you have placed labels on yourself inadvertently, or others have placed labels on you deliberately. Here's my thesis. It's imperative for us as Christians to release the labels that other people have placed on us and that we have placed on ourselves. And in the process receive the label that God tried to place on us before they put theirs on top of it. Did you catch me? Like, like that, I got to do two things simultaneously. I just got a text message. It's not even in my notes. I count not myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things behind me, forget what, the, what they placed on you, reaching forth unto what God wants to put on me. I have to release the label they put on me and receive the label that God is placing on me. The reason why labels don't work is because labels have limitations. Mm. <laughs> uh, 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 the text says in Genesis 25 and 20, when Isaac was 40 years old, he married Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel, the Aramean, from uh, Padan Aram, and the sister of Laban, the Aramean. Uh, when you look at Isaac and Rebekah, the text labels them as married. <laughs> yeah, 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 but recognize that labels got limitations. Yeah, yeah, oh my God, I was scrolling through Instagram and you should have seen it when Isaac and Rebecca got engaged. It was so cute. I mean, like, they had pictures and they was in a loft and it was everything. And then they had an engagement party. Oh my gosh. And did you see their wedding? Their wedding was everything. Like, it was a whole event. It was a vibe. It looked like a music video. And here I am scrolling in my bonnet. Ain't nobody trying to check on me. Ain't nobody going to date me. I'm getting old, man. If I only had it like Isaac and Rebecca, hashtag relationship goals, hashtag I'm never going to be married. I'm tired of being a bridesmaid. I'm tired of being a groomsman. You have to recognize that labels got limitations. Yeah, like all you see is the fact that they're married, but you don't recognize that they also have limitations. <laughs> yeah, you can't determine. Uh, you can't determine that you desire someone else's life simply by looking at their label. 
yeah, labels got limitations. Have you ever considered that Isaac and Rebecca are married at a time where Isaac is dealing with the death of his mother, Sarah? Mm. <laughs> have, have you ever considered that he's dealing with departure of his mother and arrival of his bride in the same season? Have you considered that he might have helped write the obituary for his mom while he's writing the vows for his wife? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now, now recognize that you see the pictures that they posted, but you didn't recognize that there was a person behind the picture. Wow. Yeah, have you considered the adjustment it's going to take on Rebecca's part to leave the familiar to be attached to an arranged marriage to a husband she's never met before? Uh, can you consider all that she's going to have to give up in faith to be connected to a man she's meeting for the first time? Uh, recognize how mature both Isaac and Rebecca have to be to recognize that their marriage is not merely for pleasure, but it's for purpose. <laughs> I just lost everybody. Yeah, yeah. When you get married, you don't just get married for pleasure. You get married for purpose. I, I wish I had time to downgrade you before I could upgrade you. Recognize that Abraham is the father. He's, the, he's, the, he's a type of God, the father. Recognize that Eleazar, the servant, is a type of Holy Spirit who leads her. Mm -hmm. the, the Holy Spirit leads her to the one she's supposed to be connected to. Recognize that, that Rebecca is a type of church because she's the bride of Isaac, who's a type of Christ. Isaac, watch me, was conceived miraculously, and so Jesus was conceived miraculously. Isaac was a descendant of Abraham. Jesus is a descendant of Abraham. Isaac carry the wood to his sacrifice. Jesus carries the cross to be sacrificed. Mount Moriah in the Old Testament is Calvary in the New Testament. Isaac asked, uh, I see the wood, Dad, I, I, uh, but where's the sacrifice? Uh, Jesus asked, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The Lord provided a sacrifice for Isaac. God provided Jesus as a sacrifice for us. Their marriage was not just for pleasure, but it was on purpose. Yeah. <sighs> Do I have any mature people who recognize that we can't just have chemistry physically? No, we got to have chemistry spiritually. Yeah, <laughs> we got to have chemistry psychologically. Like, I know we good in the bed, but are we good in the prayer closet? Can we birth something more than children? You missed what I just said. Uh, uh, be fruitful and multiply doesn't just apply to children. It applies to ideas. Be fruitful and multiply solutions. Be fruitful and multiply businesses. Be fruitful and multiply money. Don't get so caught up in chemistry that you fail to consider capacity. I, I just lost the whole stream. I, I, everybody just logged off. I said, don't get so caught up in chemistry that you fail to consider capacity. Yeah, marriage is for mature people. Uh, you, are, are, are you big enough to handle marriage? Uh -huh. Yeah, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 19, verse 11, message version, but Jesus said, not everybody is mature enough to live a married life. It requires a certain aptitude and grace. <laughs> Jesus pulled a Jay-Z. It ain't for everybody. He says uh, marriage isn't for everyone. Uh, verse, verse, verse 12 B, but if you're capable yeah. of growing into the largeness of marriage, then do it. Uh, the question is, are you willing to lose individually so your marriage can win corporately? Are you willing, are you willing, are you willing to place your spouse's needs above your needs? Are you willing not to use sex games with your spouse? Are you willing to combine everything? Are you willing to become one with one another? Are you willing to be committed with no contingencies? You will always be frustrated when you pick a pint-sized person to fill gallon-sized capacity. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna run that back. Uh, yeah, you, 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 you will always be frustrated 
when you pick somebody with pint-sized potential to fill gallon-sized capacity. There's more to marriage than the ceremony. There's more to marriage than the venue. How do you invest more money in a day and don't invest in a marriage that's supposed to last a lifetime? Oh, man. Man, look at Isaac and Rebecca. Look at them. Oh, they always doing the most, man. I shouldn't even be following them no more because every time I scroll past their page, they always killing it. I don't know why I do this voice when I do that person, but it just, it just, it just fits. It just fits the Instagram scroller person. Like, look at them. Like, like, every time you go past, first it was the wedding, now look at her. She got her little bump. Oh, God. Her maternity pictures are so cute. Oh, my gosh. She even had, like, the gown where the bump just came out. She was like, this. Oh my God. Look at her. Is she so cute? And don't it seem like she glowing when she's pregnant? Oh my God. Like she's everything. But 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 when you look past the picture, do you realize that with expectation with pregnancy comes pressure? Yeah. <sighs> do you realize how much disappointment is attached to expectation? <sighs> <laughs> you covet their promise, but you don't covet the price they paid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you realize that when I walk in expectation, I run the risk of looking stupid if it don't happen? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you see them pregnant now, but you don't know the pain they felt when they were unable to have children. Yeah, the text says Isaac pleaded. Isaac pleaded with the Lord on behalf of his wife. Uh, women, make sure you don't just get a man who's, who's good in the bed, but make sure you get a man who can intercede on your behalf. Yeah, make sure you can get a man who, when your children are sick, they can walk in and say he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Make sure he don't just have gain. Make sure he has God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, make sure he can walk in a room and decree and declare that no weapon formed against you and your family will prosper. Make sure he can stand up in the living room and say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Make sure he don't just have game. He got to have God. Yeah, yeah, Isaac, Isaac, Isaac pleaded with the Lord on behalf of his wife because she was unable to have children. The Lord, here's my shout, the Lord answered Isaac's prayer. I don't know who I'm preaching to. I want to talk to somebody who's felt barren for a long time and let you know that God says, I heard your prayers. I saw your tears in this season. Expect God to answer prayers that you prayed last season. You missed what I just said. Will you tear up the chat? I said, give God the praise you're going to give him after he answers the prayer that you praying currently. God, I will bless you. I will not get amnesia. God says, I'm about to open up doors that no man can close. God says, I'm about to open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings. You don't have room to receive. Will you just put your hand on your belly and shout, I'm expecting. Yeah, yeah, I'm expecting God to move like he's never moved before. I'm expecting joy in my home. I'm expecting peace like a river. I'm expecting abundance in my life. Somebody shout, I'm expecting. Here's my, here's, here's my double shout. Not only did God make her pregnant, but God made her with twins. Y'all missed what I just said. Uh, uh, God says, I'm not only going to bless you once, but in this season, expect double. Do I have anybody who receives that? Will you type in the chat double? Double my favor. Double my capacity. Double my anointing. Double my power. Double my influence. Here, double my money. Double in my life. Somebody shout double. She's pregnant. She's pregnant not, not only with one, but she's pregnant with two. Uh, verse, verse 22 is when it gets deep to me. But the two twins struggled with each other in her womb. So she went and asked the Lord, like, why is this happening to me? <sighs> See, from the outside, all of her critics and all of her followers, they think it's happening for her. <laughs> but for her, because she's going through it, it feels like it's happening to her. The sonogram shows the twins, but the sonogram don't show the turmoil. <laughs> the sonogram doesn't show the struggle. You see the favor, but you don't see the fight that's attached to the favor. <sighs> labels, labels have limitations. The reason why you're caught by surprise is because you labeled happiness the absence of sadness. Did you catch what I just said? 
the, the reason why you've labeled this season as a season of sadness is because you don't realize that happiness and sadness can coexist in the same place at the same time. That it doesn't have to be either or, but it can be both and. I just got a text message. Think it not strange concerning these fiery trials as though some strange thing has happened unto you. But count it all joy. Do I have anybody who says I'm in the midst of some hell right now, but I decree this joy that I have. Thank you, Grandma. The world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. Lose the label. You label peace as the absence of confusion. Uh, you waiting on everything to die. That, you, you waiting for you wait, you waiting on to be to be on the beach with white sands and, and waves cascading against the shore for you to say you having peace. But real peace is when hell is all around you. But it, but you can go to a secret place. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You can be in the midst of a mess and still find peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's something that the devil labeled that he thought was going to kill you. But God says, I ripped off that label. I'm going to use what the devil meant for evil. And what the devil sent to kill you, I'm going to use it to reveal you. Yeah. <sighs> Don't stop at the label because labels have what? Limitations. Yeah. The text says, and when the time came to give birth, this is what I came for, Rebecca discovered that she did indeed have twins. The first one was very red at birth and covered with thick hair like a fur coat. So they named him Esau. Then the other twin was born with his hand grasping Esau's heel, so they named him Jacob. The first child came out and was hairy, so they named him Esau. The second child came out grasping his brother's heel so they named him Trickster, Surplanter, Circumventer. They named him Jacob. One child is named for what he looks like. The other child is labeled for what he did. One moment produced labels that could last a lifetime. The truth is we label because we're lazy. It's much easier for me to generalize and categorize than it would be for me to take the time to delve into the complexity of what I've labeled. So it's much easier for me to be like, oh, shh, they a Democrat. They a Democrat. They liberal. You know what Democrats are. Lethargic, lazy, complacent. They expect the government to do for them what they could do for themselves. They're a Democrat. Oh, him? Psh, don't pay no attention to them. Republican. They watch Fox News. They want the rich to get richer. They don't care about the marginalized or the oppressed. They're a Republican. You believe black lives matter? Psh. Terrorist group. They don't care about other lives. They don't care about other races. Only black people. You believe blue lives matter? Psh. They hate black people. <laughs> They're oblivious to the fact that there's a disproportionate number of people of color in the prison system. They don't even see that. As a matter of fact, they was probably on the Capitol. January, they was on the Capitol. Anybody who believes Blue Lives Matter, you had to be on the Capitol. Watch out for them. They're amongst us. It might be some of y'all. <laughs> Apostolic. Ah, know about y'all. All y'all do is speak in tongues and believe everybody going to hell. I know about y'all. Oh, Lord. There they go. You Baptist? They sit on the front row with the deacons with Stacey Adams and they wail at the beginning of the service. <laughs> oh, you Kojic. Oh, Lord. You can't join in. You got to be bone in. Uh, uh, all they wear are suits with sequins and big hats. You, oh, they Kojic. Oh, <laughs> got you. You, you non denomination now. Okay, okay, so all y'all do is preach surface level messages uh, that are seeker sensitive and you wear skinny jeans and you got smoke machines and screens. I got you. You label because you're lazy. You're scared to have a conversation that will contradict your bias. Have you ever sat down with a Democrat to ask them why they're Democratic? 
maybe they're Democratic because historically they feel like the Democrats have been on the side of the oppressed and the marginalized, and according to Matthew 25, they feel like we should be helping the least of these. Have you ever had a conversation with a Republican to find out why? Maybe they are more conservative like the Bible we read. And maybe they feel that their party does a better job at adhering to what the Bible says in theory. Have you ever had a conversation to find out that maybe they're not apostolic because of the denomination, but maybe they're apostolic because of the doctrine? Because the Bible says they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread. What if I like, can't nobody do me like Jesus and elevation worship? Uh, uh, tell somebody, I'm too complex to be categorized. Go ahead and tell them real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm too complex to be categorized or compartmentalized. Not only, I got to get out of here. I got to take my dad to KFC. Not only does your label have limitations. Not only is your label a result of laziness, but your label has become a liability. Yeah, this label's starting to mess with you. You wore it on the outside, but the truth is, you're starting to wear it on the inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're starting to become what they said you were. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you're starting to become what you said you were. <laughs> the truth is, I don't let people talk to me crazy, but I never stop myself. Because keep it 100. Nobody talks more disrespectfully to me than I do to myself. Wow. <laughs> yeah, when an opportunity comes up, I'm the first one to tell myself why that ain't going to work. As a matter of fact, when good relationships come in my life because I don't want to be hurt, I'll self-sabotage them first. Yeah, because if I hurt you, you can't hurt me. Yeah, 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 yeah. The truth is, is that I can't even see past my label anymore. Yeah, yeah, I filter it when I post, and I filter it when I take pictures, and I filter it when I smile, but the truth is, if there were no filter, and all that was left, you would see my real label. Yeah, 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 yeah. come here, Moss, come here, Moss, come here, Moss. Like, 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 what if I've been labeling myself by my, by my past? Yeah. Some event jumped off in my past, and now I'm paralyzed into perpetuity by an event that occurred in my past. What if, what if my loyalty to my past is making me betray my future? Wow. <sighs> you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? As a kid, I was abandoned. Yeah, I was abandoned. And psychologists say that, like, if I didn't receive love, from my mother or from my father, then why would anybody else love me? Yeah, so, 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 so I feel, I feel, I feel abandoned and I see myself as abandoned. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the truth is it's going to be hard for me to let you in. <laughs> uh, don't, don't get it twisted. Just because I let you in physically, don't think that meant I let you in mentally and emotionally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might have gave you my body, but you ain't never going to touch my heart. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. The truth is, the truth is low key, low key, I've learned how to play the game. I'm a manipulator. Yeah, I know how to play the game. Like, I know how to give you what you want so I can get what I want. Yeah, I just manipulate the system. I manipulate everywhere I go. Like, I become what you need me to be so you'll like me. So the truth is we're kind of using each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. The truth is, is that, that something happened to me in my childhood that I don't talk about. So, so now I feel like I'm a victim. Yeah, and I feel like I only got two choices. Either I stay in victimhood or, or, or I become the perpetrator. I feel like healing is not even on the table. Uh, the truth is, is that I, I'm, I'm an addict. I'm an addict. What are you addicted to? You pick. A better question is, what am I not addicted to? 
Yeah, social media, food, sex, pornography, affirmation, attention. Yeah, 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 I'm an addict. Literally, my body goes into withdrawals when I don't get my fix. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. I lie to people every day. Like my smile can even be a lie. How you doing? Oh, man, come on. Good. Oh, you know me. I'm blessed. I'm walking in favor. Hashtag blessed. No, 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 no. Ha- Why don't you post what you, which, the conversation you had this morning? It was hashtag broken. It was hashtag, I don't know what I'm going to do to get out of this. Yeah. It was hashtag, I'm insecure. It was hashtag, I'm never enough. It was hashtag, I'll never be where they are. It was hashtag, I don't have enough followers. It was hashtag, I don't have enough friends. When will you post the real? <sighs> the truth is, is that some people put labels on you, but the truth is you also put some labels on yourself. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, I, man, I was broke as a kid, so now I live with scarcity. Yeah, money don't grow on trees. Yeah, 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 Look, ain't no way I'm giving God 10%. They just hustling me for my money. The devil is a liar. I ain't trying to get off. You, you see, the devil is a liar. I'm not paying my tithes. Uh, 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 yeah, man, I operate in scarcity. I ain't got enough money for that. I, we do check to check. We do check to check. We ball out and we look rich. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna have the latest car. Don't even get it twisted. We gonna have the latest car. We gonna have the latest shoes. Cause I gotta, I gotta put the label on me to make it seem like I'm rich. But we ain't got no equity, and we gonna do a GoFundMe for my funeral. Uh, what labels have you put on yourself? I was born here, so ain't no way I can get there. Man, I was born in Richmond. You don't know. You don't know. Don't nobody make it out. Man, I was born in South Central LA, man. Don't nobody make it out. I'm a statistic. I ain't supposed to get out of here. Yeah, if I'm born here, ain't no way I can get there. Yeah. Miss me with all that. My, my race is my liability. I've labeled my race as a liability. Yeah, the man is after me. Who is the man? Everywhere. <laughs> he, ev- he everywhere. He might. <laughs> He everywhere. He everywhere. Man, 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 the man, the man. He in the vaccine. He in the churches. He in the chicken. He everywhere, man. He up. He everywhere, man. So now I've labeled my race as a liability. Oh, I can't do that. I'm a woman. My gender's a liability. Yeah, I can't flourish in corporate world because I got to be a mother. I, I got to be either or. I've labeled myself as either or. I can't be both and. I can't be submissive and a beast in the boardroom. Oh, no, 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 I can't do that. No, no, all of, the, all of my environment tells me that education is not possible for me. Entrepreneurship is not possible for me. I ain't never seen nobody do it. No, 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 no. I got to learn how to lose the labels. What if you've been mislabeled? What if they labeled you in a moment of your past, but didn't recognize the power and the potential of your future? What if you mislabeled yourself? Tell somebody I got to lose the labels. What if they labeled you a failure but didn't know how, to, how your faith is set up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know I failed the last time, but the way my faith is set up, I can come back from anything. They labeled you, they, they labeled your conception an accident. Man, please, man. Man, truth is, I don't even know I'm still alive. My parents didn't mean to have me. Come on, man. That's why I'm walking around here with no purpose. Man, my parents had me on accident, dude. They was high, they was drunk, and something popped off. And my, 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 my mom and dad, they didn't even stay together, man. I ain't even met them. I'm an accident. Who said? Because God said the, that moment might have been an accident to your parents, but it wasn't an accident to me. Because before I formed you, in your mother's womb. I knew you. I sanctified you. I set you apart. I ordained you with purpose to be a prophet to the nations. 
it might have been an accident to them, but with God, he's intentional. What if you've managed to mislabel yourself? You've labeled yourself by your pain. If you were going to let that event define you, you should have died in that moment. But the fact that you are alive today is proof that no weapon formed against you will be able to prosper. Oh, oh, pastor, 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 your message is cold-blooded. I ain't gonna lie, it's cold. I mean, you got your whole little set. You got your labels. I mean, this, you I ain't gonna lie. Your boy had the promo. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name. Oh, no, no. It was everything, pastor. But this message ain't from me, pastor. Because the labels that people put on me, they, didn't, they ain't lying. Your, your sermon was cute, Pastor. You almost got me. <laughs> but the truth is, the truth is, let's keep it 100. I did what they said I did. <laughs> uh, push somebody to tell them they ain't lying on me. They ain't lying on me. Yeah, no, as a matter of fact, they only know a half of what I did. The truth is, I did it. I slept with them, Pastor. And it wasn't no accident, Pastor. I didn't backslide, I ran forward quickly. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't an accident, Pastor. <laughs> pastor, Pastor, Pastor. It wasn't accidental, Pastor. Mine was premeditated. Yeah, yeah, Pastor. I smoked it. I, all of it. All of it. Smoked it. Yeah, Pastor. I drank it. And, and nobody forced me to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about me, Pastor? Because my label is accurate. Uh, 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 Paul, Paul gave me a word for you. It says, do you not know that the righteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, he's coming for you eventually. We're going to get to you. Uh, uh, nor, <laughs> nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Here's my verse, verse number seven. And such were some of you. But Lean over and tell somebody, you got a big old butt. Go ahead and tell them right here. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of Jesus Christ. You missed it. No matter what label has been placed on you, no matter what label you've placed on yourself, God put a butt between that label. He says if you are a liar, if you are a... If you were a cheater, if you were, were abandoned, no matter what you are, but he says, you got to take off this stuff. He says, you got to let this stuff go. You got to let this stuff go. You got to let this stuff go. And every label that has been placed on you, I cast it into the sea of forgetfulness. If any man be in Christ, they are a new creation. All things are passed away. All things have become new. Don't put a period where God put a comma. Don't put a cancel label on what God's put a comeback label on. You ain't either or, you're both and. Ah, you can be introverted with extroverted tendencies. You can be humble with confidence. Oh, God. You can be righteous with ratchet tendencies at times. The label was based on who you were, but the label never considered who you were becoming. You get to rewrite and redefine the label. They said, I got ADD, attention deficit disorder. That's what they say ADD means. I say it means anointed to do it differently. Come on. Come on. All right. You get to define the label. (sighs) They called it a setback. Cross off setback and write in comeback. Lose the labels. Write on your label, I'm more than a conqueror. 
I need you to rewrite your label in the chat right now, wherever you are. Rewrite your label. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am an heir and a joint heir with Christ. I am redeemed. I am chosen. I am set free. Behold, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, what we know. When he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him just as he is. I am an heir of God. I am a joint heir with Christ. I am a chosen generation. I am a royal priesthood. I am a peculiar people. I will show forth the praises of him who hath called me out of darkness into his marvelous light. I am blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm above only and not beneath. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm the lender and not the ball. I am redeemed. If you're redeemed, you got to open up your mouth. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. God says from this moment forward, when you look in the mirror, I need you to see yourself without those labels. I got to lose the labels. I'm going to end where I started. Your spiritual journey will be about you releasing the labels that other people placed on you, that you placed on yourself and reaching for the labels that God wants to place on your life. Lift up your hands right now. I don't care where you're watching, in your living room, in your bedroom, lift up your hands right now. God says, I'm going back. I'm going back to that moment where you labeled yourself. I'm going back to that moment when you were abandoned for the first time. I'm going back to that moment when you were the last one to be picked up from school and you felt like no one wanted you. I'm going back to that moment when no one chose you and you felt like you weren't worthy of being chosen, so now you start doing the most to be seen because you felt like people didn't see you or recognize you. I'm going back to that moment when the hurt was planted in your life. I'm going back to that moment moment where they raped you. I'm going back to that moment where you gave too much too soon. I'm going back to that moment where you felt inadequate. I'm going back to that moment that jumped off the addiction. I'm going back to that moment and I'm rewriting your label. Yes. Your past will no longer define you. Your past will no longer have power over you. God says, I want you to open up your mind. I want you to open up your heart. God says, you can take off that armor that you've been wearing for your entire life trying to protect your child. You can let that go right now. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Whatever is right, I will pay. God says, give me the pen. Whoever wrote that label, they didn't know how to write. Give me the pen. I'm writing new labels for the rest of your life. God, I pray, Lord, that the Rock Church, through the power of God, we will be a church of label makers. <laughs> we will be a church where people come in one way, the old label is removed, and the new label is placed on top of them. God, I pray, Lord, that our church will be salt and light, that we will be labeled and identified by the power of Jesus Christ. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Give God the best praise you can. Thank you, Miles. Thank you. Somebody shall lose the labels. Lose the labels. Oh, man. Wow. My, my dad, my cheap dad. <laughs> My intentional dad. Yeah. Anybody know anything about like taking the jelly jar oh, yeah. and then reusing it for a glass? Yeah. And, and, and what you don't realize is if you put multiple labels on top of it, the one that's the hardest to get off is the first one that was placed there. What you don't realize is before they labeled you, yeah. 
before you labeled yourself, God already had a label underneath. And that was the hardest one to get off. God says your life would change because I don't recognize you by what they labeled you as. I recognize you by what I labeled you as. That one ain't coming off. Why do we encourage you to be baptized in Jesus' name so you can reattach yourself to the original label? (laughs) When you repent, you're like, Lord, take off this old label. Take this mess off, man. I'm tired of preaching with that thing on. Because this one's been me forever. On stages, platforms, uh, pastor in the church, and, and the high on Sunday, and the crash on Sunday night. So much so that I didn't recognize that you can feel it and not be it. Yeah, your feelings gave you information, but they didn't give you identification. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I repent, I'm washing off the old labels. When I'm baptized in Jesus' name, I'm reattaching myself to my accurate label. And then I rise and God fills me with the power of the Holy Spirit. We are baptizing. We are setting it up. We didn't want to do it on Father's Day, cause, cause that, but we got people who want to be baptized. We are scheduling it. If you've never been born again, you've never had that reality, then no wonder you're tripping. I'm a trip. I'm a trip, and I have been baptized. I don't know what you're doing without baptism and being filled with the Holy Spirit. Like literally, like literally, 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 I can see myself differently. When Satan points to my past labels, I can point toward the label I received at baptism. That's why you got to know what they said. Yeah, yeah, I now baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin, and you'll be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so when Satan comes from my past, I just show him my new label and my power. If you've never been baptized in Jesus' name, if you've never been spirit-filled, today is the day. Text GROW to 925-233-0174. We will contact you immediately. Not only do you get a new label, we give you a new T-shirt. I mean, come on. (laughs) New label in the spirit, new T-shirt in the natural. Can't beat it. If you're looking for a church home, man, I don't know what's happening for our church. Usually attendance drops in the summer months. But our rock recharge attendance is crazy. Our Sunday morning attendance is crazy. Like, God's doing something special at the rock. Yeah. Come be planted. I, 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 just, I just believe in this season, he's about to revolutionize your life. Text GROW 925-233-0174 if you need prayer. Yeah, we, our church, we just care. We just care. We don't want to open you up in a message like this, and then you have to go back to being by yourself. We got people who are live, virtually trained, ready to intercede on your behalf. Click the link in the chat. Father, in the name of Jesus, let's pray for everybody. Let's pray for our new members. Let's pray for those who are signing up to be baptized. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will allow this word to be on time release. When we want to go back, to old labels and lifestyles, you will remind us that if any man be in Christ, they are a new creation. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. God, fill us with your power. Fill us with your anointing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Give God praise in that message. Listen, if you didn't have an opportunity to give and to honor God with your tithe and offering, make that a reality. Y'all already gave, I assume. Amen. Uh, um, I'm on automatic. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to play you. Because uh, uh, when I'm balling out, I don't want y'all looking at my, at, my, at my glory and not know the story. Like, you could have copied. You could have copied. You could have cheated. I left my test right here for everybody to see it. What do, what's my strategy? I tithe off the top. I give God offering hilariously. I try to bless everybody I can, anytime. I sow to my covering because it blesses me. It blesses our church. So every week, Dr. Vernon gets something. Every week. Every week. I'm, not, I'm just giving you the cheat because I'm about to be balling out of control, and I don't want y'all mad at me. When I pull up on something, I don't want y'all to be like the pastor. Yeah, No, no, you should have did what he did if you wanted to get what he got. <laughs> I'm believing God for abundance, and I want it to trickle down to everyone in our congregation. Yeah, like, like I got to take it to another level. If my dad can bless me with two degrees and no student loans, the pressure's on. 
what do I have to do for my children? Yeah, I really want y'all to be thinking generational wealth. Father, I pray that you will bless every seed sower. Let us walk in financial freedom in Jesus' name. Listen, Rock Recap's about to go down. It's going to be crazy. Let's unpack what we heard today about losing and letting go of the labels. 3 o'clock p.m. We cannot wait to see the YLC TV. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the word that we heard. We thank you for the start of this series. God, I pray that you will use this word to transform our lives. Cover us. Let us be salt and light in the earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.